Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about aseptic technique. When entering the lab, first put on a lab coat and fasten all of the buttons. Wearing a lab coat will prevent the transfer of microorganisms as well as other chemicals to your clothing. If you have long hair, tie it up with an elastic band. When performing experiments with microorganisms, it is extremely important to practice aseptic technique. This will help prevent the contamination of your specimens and improve safety by preventing the transfer of potentially harmful microorganisms. Before you begin any lab activity, disinfect your lab bench. Use a suitable cleaning solution such as bench cleaner and spray it onto the bench surface. Wipe and spread the cleaning solution on the bench top with a paper towel. After doing so, allow the bench to air dry. Cleaning your work area will help eliminate contaminants on the bench. Keep your workspace organized. Place all of your cultures and non-sterile equipment onto one side. On the opposite side, place all of your sterile items. Ensure that you have enough space in front of you to work. To connect the Bunsen burner, attach the hose to the valve of the gas line. To reduce the gas flow prior to lighting the Bunsen burner, look down at the Bunsen burner from the top of the shaft and turn the valve clockwise. Turn on the gas valve and light the Bunsen burner. Once the flame has been produced, turn the shaft counterclockwise to provide the flame with more gas. Once this has been adjusted properly, you should be able to see an outer flame and within it an inner cone. When working with bacterial cultures, it will be necessary to sterilize your instruments. Hold your instrument at a 45 degree angle above the horizontal. Place and hold the tip of the instrument into the middle of the flame until it is red hot. Cool the instrument by waving it within a 30 cm radius of the flame to remain in the sterile area. Turn on the back disintegrator by pressing the switch to the on position. To sterilize your instruments using a back disintegrator, allow it to heat up until the insides are red hot. Insert your instrument into the back disintegrator without scratching the interior surfaces. Hold your instrument in this position for 10 to 15 seconds. The instrument does not need to be red hot to be sterile. When removing a sample from a test tube, hold it near the flame. Hold your instrument with your dominant hand and remove the cap with your pinky finger. Move the opening of the tube through the flame and then proceed to remove your sample. After removing your sample, pass the top of the test tube through the flame again and secure the cap. When working with forceps, first dip them into a container of ethanol. Remove the forceps and replace the lid of the container. Pass the forceps through the flame and allow the ethanol to burn to sterilize your forceps. Remember to never walk away from an open flame. After you have finished using the back disintegrator, make sure to turn it off. After you have completed your work, remove your belongings from the work area. Proceed to clean it with bench cleaner and wipe your bench with a paper towel. Allow the bench cleaner to air dry. Remember to place biohazardous waste into biohazardous waste bags. After completing your lab work, remember to wash your hands with soap and water before leaving the lab.